Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. We've got a cool little thing for you today. We're using the great Divi Supreme Modules plugin for the Divi theme today. And we've got this full width image slider with light box effect. And that's a great little thing to have on your site. Really easy to do. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable my visual builder. Once enabled, let's go down to where we want to work. I'm simply going to delete this section. And we'll start from scratch. So I'm going to add a new section. Little blue button right there to add a new section. I'm going to make it a regular section. I'm going to put in a single row, single column. Now Divi comes as standard with all the light grey modules. There's plenty of them. But Divi Supreme adds another 40 or so modules and they're absolutely awesome. They really do put the Divi theme on steroids. And as you can see, there's plenty of them and we got some more of the regular Divi ones here. Divi also gives you an, an extra 12 or so if you've got WooCommerce installed. OK, let's find our gallery module. There it is, Supreme Image Carousel. And the first thing it's going to do is prompt you to add some images. So simply go in and select the images that you want. You can hold down the control key and select multiple images at a time if you want to. And then hit select. Like any gallery module, you can select images, just left click on them, drag them and pull them, drop them where you want to put them very easily like that. You can order by default or you can just make a random order. Default will show them in the way that you've got them there. That's fine. And as you can see, it's already put it in and it's rotating nicely for us there. You can choose to have the images full slide size or you can select a custom image from the drop down below and there's plenty of sizes to choose from. Now, if we go down to carousel settings, I'm going to have it to slide. Now you can do some amazing things with this. You can do cover flow, which will make it kind of 3D. And we've covered those in previous videos. You can do flips. So it flips from one to the other. And you can do cube rotates. And again, it'll cube rotate from one to the other. You want to have them the same size for that to work well. But for mine today, I'm going to simply use the slide mode. We can make it a full width slider there. So I don't want centered mode. What that does, it'll make sure there's one in the middle all the time. And what it does is kind of cut off the sides of the ones on the edges occasionally. So I'm going to leave that off. I'm going to say show six slides at a time. That's the amount that's actually in the area that it's taking up. Sides to scroll, as you can see, it's doing it one at a time. That works perfectly for me. We've got pagination there. Don't want to use multiple rows. The slider speed itself, 300 mils is fine for me. Just put in a value, a higher value if you want to slow it down, lower value if you want to speed it up there. I do want it to autoplay. Time that it takes for one slide to fade into the next one, it's holding on each slide for 3000 milliseconds or three seconds there. Again, if you want it higher, drag the slider higher or type in a higher value. If you want it a shorter period of time, take it down to the left or type in a smaller value. I do want it to pause on hover in case somebody just wants to hover over there and see what they're looking at. The spacing to me is fine. If you want to have them butted up against each other in a continuous sort of film roll like that, you can do. I quite like that 15 spacing that worked fine for me. And as with most Divi settings, if you do something you don't like it, if you simply select it, delete it, it'll return to the default value for you. Do want it to loop. If you turn that off, it's just going to stop when it gets to the end. Infinite smooth scrolling, you can put that on if you want to, and it'll just keep going around and around. But I really don't like that effect for this particular thing. I'm going to take the arrows away because we're going to make this full width in a minute. So I'm going to say no to arrows and our pagination's right there at the moment, which is not a good place for it. You can 
realign it and push it down further if you want to keep it but I'm just going to take it away I'm going to leave touch dragging disabled so people can drag it with their finger on tablets and things like that and I'm going to leave the grab cursor just as it is that's fine for me this little hand grab cursor right there now when they click on it I want it to open in a light box so I'm going to click this to on and what a light box is I'm sure you know is it'll pop out the image into a full size version of it and grey out the background of the site there don't need it in gallery mode because we're not using that don't want to display any captions okay design wise there's not much I really want to do if we look at the layout we want it horizontally centered which is fine you can put it up at the top or down at the bottom if you prefer but in the middle is perfect for me you can give it images rounded corners if you want to but like I say I'm pretty happy with all these default settings here I'm just going through you to show you what the options are sizing is fine spacing is fine don't want to put a border around anything don't want to put a box shadow on anything so I think we're pretty good to go so let's make this full width so I'm going to save that there and we need to go into our row go to design sizing I'm going to pull the width up to 100% I'm going to copy that 100% and paste it down below in the max width there or you can just type it in as you can see it's now taking up the full width of the screen let's just pop this up a little bit there we go but I kind of want a bit of a gap either side so I think we've got 15 picks there so that's probably 30 picks so if I put 30 picks either side in spacing that should sort of make it symmetrical looking so still in design I'm going to go down to spacing padding left and right I'll put in 30 don't need to put the picks in it'll put it in for you and do hit the chain it'll do the opposite side that's okay could take it down a little bit maybe try 15 that's pretty symmetrical looking there but again it's entirely up to you styling so we're in fairly good shape there and somebody might be asking well why didn't you just use a full width section when you actually use a full width section if I go and add a new section here say full width you get a limited amount of options for plugins that you can use or modules that you can use for this and this isn't one of them so what you need to do is make a regular section and do it that way like we've done it so let's close this out and get rid of that section okay well I just want to take a little bit of padding away from this section here you can either drag it and do it this way or you can go into the section itself blue tab for the section go to spacing and on the bottom take away any padding that was there there we go and we've got no padding there and that's bang in the middle just exactly how I want it so we're done if we just save this we've got a nice little section there right in the middle of the section we've got this nice image carousel so let's save our changes and see what it looks like on the front end let's exit the visual builder and there we go it should start rotating automatically yep that's fantastic it should stop when we hover over it make sure it's going to stop yeah that's fine and when we click on it it should pop out a light box of that image right there fantastic doing exactly what we want so there you go guys that's how easy it is to do a full width image carousel using the fantastic Divi Supreme modules plugin I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.